Hello world, hello students, Dr. K here, coming at you, summer vacation. I hope everybody's having a great summer. You know, my job is to make you a math genius, and that is year round. I know school is only 10 months, but we are math genius year round. I wanted to show you a calculation of a check digit on a credit card. So a calculation on a check digit on a credit card. This is an old credit card, a debit card, sorry, of mine. Same thing, credit card, debit card. And I, I covered, you see, I covered the check digit. So we don't know what the check digit is. And we're going to calculate it. And that's going to be fun. It's going to take me, what, two, three minutes? And we are going to have fun. Calculate the check digit. If you um, want to practice it on your own, this would be the time to pause the video. Okay? Solution coming. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. So I took the number. Remember, it's a 16-digit credit card or debit card number. It's a visa, so it starts with four right there. So we're trying to find the last digit. I went ahead and let it, let it zoom. There you go. I went ahead and wrote the numbers down. 4036, 1936, 9051, 510, and then there's the check digit, the question mark. We don't know what the check digit. Let's start solving it. So what do we do? We know that the check digit has to be multiplied by one. We know, the algorithm says the, tech, the check digit needs a multiple of one. And with credit card numbers, we multiply, we alternate multiplying by one and two. So we know that if this is a multiplied by one, then that's gotta be multiplied by two, one, two. So we know that the pattern is two, one, two, one for every bunch of four numbers. So this is two, one, two, one, Two, one, two, one. Yeti is so bored right now. He is asleep. If I just move the camera up there, he is asleep. He is like, been there, done that. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you hearing you do this. It's okay. But my students love this. So let me do this. Okay. Let's go. We're going to multiply. But remember, with the credit card algorithm, it's a funny multiplication. We're going to multiply. So let's go to, let's do it together. Four times two. Right. If you got eight, you are correct. Zero times one, that is a zero. We don't even bother writing it, but I mean, some students do, some students don't. Let me, let me go ahead and write it just to show. Okay, three times two, three times two is six. Six times one is six again. So we know we've got the first four digits. Let's keep going. One times two is two. Nine times one is nine you got this three times two oh don't tell me oh dr k it's summer are you making us do math yeah we still have to do it year round three times two six six times one six okay up to this point nothing no funny math needed but funny math is coming let's see here it is nine times two nine times two is what's nine times two nine times two is 18 right so in this funny algorithm, all we care about is we add the two digits that make up 18. So we know that nine times two is 18, but we add up what the two digits add up to. So one plus eight is nine. And so that's the answer is nine. So nine times two in this funny math algorithm equals nine. Zero times one is zero. Five times two is 10. We add up the two digits, the one and the zero, that's a one. One times one is one. Five times two is 10. One more time, five times two is 10. That's just one and zero. So the sum of the two digits, that's a one. One times one is one and there's a zero. Okay, it sounds like a lot of work, but it's just funny math in the way. And the only time the, only, the, only time the funny math came in is when we had nine times two. It's just the way that the, this credit card works. Okay, are we there yet? Almost. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up these digits and look for the next multiple of 10. But I remember Dr. K is trying to make you a math genius, so we're trying to make it easy. Is there a shortcut? Can we add, um, can, we, can we make groups of 10 shortcuts? Oh yes, Dr. K, of course I see this. Nine and a one, that goes bye-bye. That adds up to 10. This is the 18, we don't care about that. That's a nine. Okay, what else? Dr. K, I see an eight and a two. Where do you see an eight and a two, Math Genius? There it is, eight and two, okay. And Dr. K, you always do this. You wrote the zeros, cross out the zeros. We don't need the zeros. Yes, absolutely. 
we don't need the zeros. They're going to add up to zero. Okay, what else? Can we produce multiple? Uh, can we produce um, groups of ten? Because it's going to make the algorithm easier. Uh, yes, Dr. K. I see a nine and a one. So there you go. We blew up the whole thing. That whole thing goes bye bye. Okay, what else? Are we done that? No, no, no. We could do more. We could do a group of twenty. Where is a group of twenty? Do you see a group of twenty? You better see it. Three sixes and a two. Three sixes and a two. Oh yeah, there it is. A six, a six, a six. That's three sixes and then a two. Where do you see a two? One and one. Okay, so pretty much we blew that up. That We blew that up. The only thing left is a six. The only thing left is a six. So we know that we tell ourselves how much more to go from six to the next multiple of 10, which in this case 10, how much more? How much do we need? We need to add how much to six to get to 10? Dr. K, that's easy. You're making it, e you're complicating it. It's too easy. The answer is the check digit is four. So if you got that the check digit is four on this credit card with this check digit calculation, let's see. Time for a reveal. Drum roll, reveal, and the check digit is four indeed. So that's again, that's how we do check digit calculations on a credit card. We go with sequences of one and two. The funny algorithm is that we add, if we get a two digit product, we add the two digits. Other than that, it's straightforward. With, um, with um, barcodes as we did, we do sequences of one, three, three, one, and so on. But with check digits on um, calc on, on credit cards or debit cards, we do a sequence of ones and twos. This is fun. Math is fun. I have the best students in the world, and I look forward to seeing you at the start of next year. But keep your pencils um, running and keep doing math. Proud of you.